twin thrusters, 300 horsepower. Let's go in the pilot house. We'll take a look at the. One of them is going to protect you when you need more power. You have, and you know, right now. Uh, this boat coming, I got a little bit of things going. This, this turns, I mean, on the dime. Yeah, I mean, Randall, what, what's the name of your boat? Shallow Draft. Shallow Draft. Shallow Draft is a 120 long, 30 wide by 7 deep. Uh, the uh, propulsion system is doing what we thought would do. You can turn on a dime, it acts a lot better than a conventional rudder because the thrust goes whichever way that we got the full force of the thrust going in the direction we put it. So, uh, in, in, in very shallow water, we can see this doing the job we're really looking for. Just kind of learning right now that uh, it looks like we can steer quite well with one engine. Right. Uh, leave the other one turn its number, and uh, one engine is doing all the steering, which is pretty handy. I got the captain here on the side of me. Uh, I think we have a combination of a shallow draft boat with the right propulsion that'll get us where we want to be in the field. How'd it come to a stop there? Uh, you know, it actually can't uh, stop pretty good. Uh, we have yeah. plenty enough horsepower to stop us. I was impressed with that. You know, you know that you can pull those in and out at any RPM and change from forward to reverse. I didn't know I was slowing it down, thinking that everything had to synchronize, yeah. but, uh, you know, it's a good thing. You've uh, got an emergency situation, pull them both into reverse, <coughs> and bring her to a stop. Good. Looks like we're getting pretty good, good getting speed out of, out of it. Yeah, yeah just but when we get right, we're gonna go ahead and make this bend, and then we'll go ahead and corner her up and see what she got. You know? Yeah, okay. <coughs> so far, the little bit of handling it uh, handles better than any rudder boat that I've been on. I think it's kind of, it's quite sensitive. You know, once it starts going, you need to just stay close to that center. When this one's center, that's fine. You stay close to that center, you'll be in good shape. You know, just steering with one of them, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. I'm going to take some pictures off the back end here. We're all doing the knocks we have. Here's some of the crew that built the boat. Traveling the Bayou Shane. Bayou Shane. Shane. Right outside the ICW. Uh, moving some pretty good water for, oh, some, yeah. for, for 24 inch wheels. You know.
This is the little channel we're going up. They'd say this is where they would have to go if they were going to go up and dismantle an oil well. This channel's not more than double the width of the barge, I guess, probably 60, 70 feet. And where they're going, they're going back up in the bayou. more than 20 feet from the shoreline. See what he says for a water depth. How much water depth do you got there? Six. So it's handling, uh, handling good. Okay, now we're doing some shallow water, shallow water <laughs> test in here. That's it. That's the last of the channel. It's only four foot wide. Real shallow here. The hydraulic does for you. Run on the bank. Just right through. So we got a 120 foot barge to turn around here in a 100 foot area. Bring it on around there, Randall. You got lots of room, Captain. Put the bow up on the shoreline there and kick it on around. It'll do it. Back up to the channel. It's a little big, but that's about five or 